you know it's cleared up a good bit here as you can see there's remnants of clouds and stuff like that but I think we're gonna try to go to the river walk and get some get, get a little bit walking in today it's a beautiful day I'm not as sore as I was yesterday so this should be all right I mean I'm in downtown Conway right now and uh if you've never seen downtown Conway, this, this place is this place is beautiful. And for some reason, they get the street locked off on me. You know it's bad when your town fountain has PVC pipe <laughs> as part of the decoration. Uh. I was hoping they'd use the term <laughs> historic river walk. I know this is our historic river town. Uh, Conway is known as the Three River Town. We have three big rivers that go through it. The PD, the Waccamaw, and the Santee, I think. Maybe this map will tell us. Let's go look. This, I know this is the Waccamaw that we're looking right here. Yeah. And so this is the Waccamaw River that goes up through the left side of town. Yeah. City of the City of Conway River Walk. So, technically, the way the river walk starts is we can, we're, we're right here, we can walk all the way down here into the northern entrance, or we can walk all the way up here. Up here is where I, I showed you earlier, so that's what that is. So, I'm going to go by the peanut factory, so we're most likely going to go this way, because that right there is the peanut factory, and I want to show that off. Uh, since we've already seen the top part of the river walk. Always look for snakes out here. Those snakes. I don't think that we're going to see an alligator unless he's in the water, but that's a possibility. But yeah, this is this is the Walkamall. As you can see, there's the old bridge. That bridge has been here since I'd say the '56. It's old. <clears throat> Actually, you can go down right here. Now the plank, it's a steep plank though. I guess that's a fishing spot down there. You're not allowed to wake here, so yeah. Let's get a good look at it. Parts about the river walk though is it's nice and cool. That's not a bad part. One of the worst parts is that they don't keep it up. This thing's been here for about 12 years now. And well, I guess they, they, they contracted out to the lowest possible bidder that they can get. And the last guy came and pressure washed it. And after he pressure washed it, he didn't put no sealant or stainer on it. Oh, no, no water sealant. The time puts water in. Like, just look at it. I mean, it's, the wood's damaged and cracked and got holes in it in some places. And it doesn't make you feel safe, especially since there's only about maybe three feet of water under the bridge. Under well, the, the the deck here, and like if you fail, you probably really hurt yourself. Stand corrected. Um, it says right here the rivers' names. You got the Waccamaw, the Great PD, the Little PD, and Little Rivers. So there's actually four rivers. I think the Santee is the river in Charleston. That's where I messed up here. This just shows you some of the steamboats and things of that nature. Um, for those of you under, unaware, Conway was actually very important in the Civil War because they would cut trees down from Georgetown and they would use the rivers to transport the logs down for the war effort. And uh, that, was, that was pretty cool. What was it? Let's see. Let's see, the Burroughs and Chapin's Company Lower River Warehouse circa 1880. So this building is still in use. It says the Jerry Cox Company. So, um, I really, 
I really wanted to show some of the more of the environment around here because like one the place where I live at it, it, it's got some pretty things but it, it's by no means this <laughs> it isn't and like I'm gifted with being in the situation that I live so close to so many beautiful things and like I live in probably one of the close one of the biggest tourist attractions on the east coast <laughs> and it's Myrtle Beach and I want to eventually go to the beach for you guys and walk on the beach um, the only problem I've been having and combating was the wind like if you think the wind is bad on like old back roads and dirt, <laughs> dusty dirt roads that I've been walking on you've never seen the wind up at the beach the beach is three things salt wind and sand and water I guess four things salt wind and sand and water that's it it's windy as it can be and it's whoo, it feels good it's beautiful and like I don't know about you but the beach makes me feel good I've I've lived at it I've lived close to it all my life and every time I go to it it blows my mind to this point and like I almost want to go, go I'm envious of people that actually work on the ocean because the ocean is it blows my mind because like it's fucking huge dude it literally is it is the biggest thing I've ever seen in my life and it it I'm trying to block the wind from the actual microphone since I learned where the microphone's at but I don't know I have to show it to you one day if those of you that live in the Midwest or live in the United Kingdom, well, the United Kingdom has closer access to the beach than I do, but it li lives somewhere that's landlocked, the beach is great. <laughs> this is rainbow plant food. They still make rainbow plant food in that building. You go over there, I don't know what they do in that building anymore, but that's still the actual rain rainbow food plant here in Conway. Here's the front of the peanut factory.